Eliezer Hernandez makes his ninth start of the season, number 36 in his career, coming off a no decision against the Atlanta Braves. Pitch now to Reynolds, and it's on the way, and it's down low, and it's a four-pitch walk with two outs to Brian Reynolds. And uh, like we said, K.Y. Hernandez features a great control. And that's back-to-back -back walks. <laughs> and Jacob Stallings, their catcher, will be the hitter. And oh, past the second baseman, Chisholm. And the Pirates will get a gift run out of it. Comes big up back to the middle for this base hit. Hopefully it'll be an RBI right there. Let's see how they judge this one. They have ruled it an error on Jazz Chisholm Jr. And well, you were talking about one chink in the armor, and it's a big one. When you talk about Chisholm and the possibility of rookie of the year, 14th error as a second baseman. Cole Tucker with a line drive base hit center field. De La Cruz comes up with it again, unleashes another throw. This one gets all the way to the plate, and it's waiting for Colin Moran. And outfield assist for Brian De La Cruz. Yeah, um, this ball's hit really good. I mean, you know, again, you look at the secondary lead ball being aggressive. We talked about being aggressive early, but the secondary lead of Colin Moran was below the standards that we've been used to seeing from the base running that we've seen lately. So, again, he never had a cut. So that secondary lead means everything. Marlins come to bat here in the bottom of the first inning against Will Crow. Again, having those quality starters make a difference. Oh, good looking. Pitch there from Crow and he gets Jazz Chisholm swinging and missing two up two down. See that action right there. The depth of that the change up and the way it works away from it again finding edges. And uh, that's the Will Crow that one that we've seen earlier in the year spots. And he takes ball four. Well, he has a handful of singles on the season. Now maybe a little bit more than that a base hit into right field. Sharply hit through the right side. Marlins have two on and one out. So two gone. Eddie Alvarez is coming up for Miami. 3 1 pitch. And a ground ball through for a base hit. Sanchez gets the green light. Here comes the throw from right field. It's cut off, and Eddie Alvarez has tied the game at one. Ball gets an off speed pitch out over the plate to change up and stayed on and kept his hands back just long enough to get the barrel to it. And sneak it into right field. So effective all year long, so you don't want to allow him to beat him with one swing of the bat. And he gets a fastball, he drills it towards center field, and he will get himself a double. The way Brian Reynolds runs, he was hoping that ball kicked right off the top of that wall and stayed in the ballpark. So when they make a mistake, Kevin. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. Fastball out over plate and up. Uh, you have a guy like that, an all-star guy, again, doing it all season long, just coming up with big hits and hard contact. He really is on another level. Diaz makes the play and finds Hernandez. Moving up to third is Reynolds. Here's the pitch, the one and two. And the ball is popped up on the right side of the infield in foul ground. Lewin Diaz is under it. He's got it. Good job pitching around that double by Eliezer Hernandez. Alfred, though, a fly ball out to left field. Brinson going back near the wall. Leaps and he makes the catch. A long running, jumping play at the wall for Lewis Brinson. It's hard to tell whether or not he went over the wall, but close enough. Outstanding running catch. I mean, that's like a wide receiver going to the corner of the end zone, right? Second major league plate appearance for Henry. A strikeout his first time around. Henry smokes one out to center field. Reynolds turns and looks, and that's off the wall. He'll get it into second base. It is the... First major league hit and a double for Peyton Henry. They'll save that one, authenticate it. Jazz may throw it into the netting. Oh, almost. He got me too. <laughs> now it goes through that process so that you know it's the real deal. The first big league hit. A very good balance. I mentioned his first time up. You can tell that he's really trying to stay inside the baseball, and this is uh, well, all the proof you need. 400 feet off the wall. Had to really turn it on to get into second base. Diving stop by Key Brian Hayes. 
Never get old seeing that. That's for sure. Keep Brian Hayes continues to show that defense and getting that first step quickness and ability to move and it's just Brian being to Brian. Take another look. This explosive first movement. Again, the footwork's always, you know, again, it's textbook. Mm. Here's a 3 2 pitch, and that's up high ball four, and it is a leadoff walk given up by Eliezer. Not running. And it's ball four. Back to back walks. And gets away. A gift allowing Moran to go to third and Stallings to second. With no outs. And Tucker out to center field. De La Cruz getting over. He gets to it. And the throw will go to third. Sack fly for Tucker. Scores Moran. And it is a one run game now as Tucker's sack fly gives the Pirates a two to one lead. That's out toward right center field. Long run over for Reynolds. Dives and he can't get there. De La Cruz is on his way to second and he's not going to stop. Getting all the way to third. Triple. We talked about all these breaking balls. Well, how about a nice adjustment from De La Cruz? Staying through it. Maybe got out in front a couple of times early, but stayed right on it, went the other way. This ball not smoked into the gap, but perfectly placed. Great job, right? Wow. Yes. One big one. He does. Wow. Chris Stratton. Back to back strikeouts. Did he go? He did. And the block by Stallings and the strikeout and raised the Jolly Roger in Miami. What a save by Chris Stratton. That was sensational.